Well this is kind of funny, my video timeline is going to be all over the place because I originally sat down to do a video about this and then this kit from Harry Axton arrived in the post as the van went past and everything's got jumbled up for time because I've got to order a new soldering iron to do this kit justice. Hey hey, my new soldering iron thing's arrived, so I'll open this. It's by either Hans Kit or Hans Kit. I suppose a Hans Kit is something like, well, this is a microwave. Anyway, let's, uh, let's open this up. So while I wait for the iron to heat up, I've put it on 350, I wasn't too sure what to put it on. I will practice on something actually before going on to this, which is the back of the TR505 now. Um, and I can take the screws out and we can get on with the desoldering of the ROM chip. Alright, that's the board removed and while I'm here I'm going to redo that positive connection because it wasn't done very well the first time round. Anyway, there's IC11, all correct. I've used this similar vintage board just to test the iron out on 300 and that seemed to be fine for a temperature. Well, you know, full disclosure time, I've never used one of these solder desucker things, I've always used the braid. And uh, hopefully you can see on the right hand side I've used this and on the left hand side I've still to do. But uh, it seems to be quite a good painless way of doing things. I'm going to stop using the braid and use one of them in future. Okay, that's done. So, check on the back of the board. No pads damaged. Next thing is to fit that socket. And there we are, I'm pleased with that. It uh, takes a couple of looks to see that anything monstrous has gone on with it. So the next bit is to flip over the board and fit the new one. Let's see if I can do this live. Right. Line it up. Oh, there we go. Okay, very cool. And now I've got to connect up, well, put some wires onto these two toll switches, attach them to there, and then run the switches out to outside the case, make a couple of holes in the case for those to go through. Right, so there are my two Dremel holes. And next to fit those in there and wire them up to this board. And then we're done. There we are, the modification's complete with the two switches hooked up at the back and a braided wire as I've done it for the three connections onto the board there. So now just to put it back together and well let's see if it works. Right, moment of truth it's all hooked up. Uh, turn the volume up. Oh god what happens if it goes bang? Oh that's a good sign. Uh, right, so I've got both of them at the back upwards at the moment. Oh, it works, good. Okay, so if I put one switch down, it's different. It probably makes sense to play a pattern to hear the differences. I've got them both down now, so this is the TR505. Now I'm going to swap to either the Lindrum or the LM1. This is the Oberheim DMX and here's the other Lin. Harry Axton's kit works and it just, that was it. Wonderful. Thank you very much Harry for sending it and all the way from England as well. I'll put a link to, the, uh, to Harry's website and I'll also put a link to the manual for this. Um, I'm absolutely over the moon. That is just superb. Four different 80s drum kits and the TR505. Okay, thanks for watching.